My name is Taylor LeBlanc and I am gay. So growing up as a kid and you know being gay and, and with the way the world was and still is I feel like there was really just I kind of lost hope. There is no symbol you know that that people walk down the street with that say I am gay because not everybody falls in with that stereotype. You know there is femme, there is masculine, there's everything where in between but there is that big fear do I walk down the street and how do I know if he's gay or not? I mean yes as you get older you engage in conversation and it doesn't matter if they are or not you just you fall in love with the person itself. But yeah, I feel like it is a struggle. And so I doubted myself. And then one day I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna go out there and look for the best and hope for the best. And I found love and it took courage, you know? So me and my boyfriend, we were uh, at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. And we look over and there's a family, grown men with their children. We could tell that they were taking pictures of the two of us because we were holding hands. It dawned on us that, you know, they were actually making fun of us. It was actually pretty demoralizing, especially that they had their kids with them. We decided that we together would get up and approach these men and say, look, we don't appreciate this. Would you like to take a picture with us? We just didn't feel it was right. So to show them that we were strong and united and that we weren't gonna back down and that it wasn't okay that they were, were pretty much trying to bully us, make us feel like we were not worth anything. I, I wanted to set an example for the kids that look, we're, we're just normal people and that we love each other and there's nothing wrong with that. I've actually been really grateful that my family has been accepting. At first, I think it was shock. I think that's what was the hardest part. My mom actually found out because I was talking to a guy at the time on the phone and she had overheard. So it wasn't even a plan coming out. It just happened. So I think it was shock on both ends, on mine and hers alike. And she was emotional. She said, well, is it my fault? Did I do something wrong? And I said, no. I think the hardest part is that they don't realize that we're born this way. I have, I've had these feelings since I was Boys. Obviously with the older generation it's a little harder. I mean they don't really still understand it but they still love me and they tell me that. Um, but with my close family I mean it's been inspiring. I mean even my brother he's a youth pastor. Um, he lives in Missouri and he's probably the most supportive person and loving person that I, and love that I felt from my family was him. So that was very touching in itself. I feel after the events of uh, the Orlando shooting, everybody banding together, everybody from LGBT community and all the hate that they did feel from the media and the community at the time. With all that amongst us, we stood together and held hands and said, look, this is who we are. We love each other. We're going to pick each other up off the floor. A community that can do that amongst all odds, amongst all hate and violence is amazing to me and it's very inspiring. You're not alone. Uh, there's people out there that uh, care and have gone through the same struggle. At the end of the day, you know, I was living a lie. I mean, I, I came out when I was 19. I was on the football team. I was I was a jock, and it was really hard for me to accept and come out and, and say that, yes, this is who I am, and I don't really care who accepts it or not. But knowing that I had, you know, other people that experienced my same feat in, in itself was empowering. We all need to accept that we are here and we are an entity and we do exist and that we all love each other and we want to be love you and be loved by you. Love is a big thing and there's a lot of it to go around. We should all share it.